This is the most powerful, fastest iPhone we've ever made. It has the same great design of the iPhone 3G that we just launched last summer, but what's inside is entirely new. This is a really fast iPhone. So can you use an iPhone 3GS in 2019? Let's find out. But first, a word from the sponsors. One of the first things you have to do, of course, because the iPhone 10 uses the micro, any new phone uses the micro SIM card. So I've got to race to my local provider, Telstra. I've got to race to that store and try and get this SIM card that I use in my phone in an old format, the larger SIM, so I can put it in the iPhone 3. Hopefully they still do that. Hopefully they do that for free. Just put your SIM in the middle Ooh, of that and away you go. Yep. Piece of cake. Right. Too easy, thank you. Right, here we go. I'm back home. This is what Telstra gave me. This is like a, a multi-SIM. So basically, this is the SIM out of my iPhone 10. So if I just slot that in there somehow. They were the old SIMs. Look how big that is. That's so ridiculous. Now we'll get the iPhone 3 out. This is kind of exciting. I kind of, this is kind of cool. Get my SIM tool. That out. <sighs> Moment of truth. Which way does it go? Okay. iPhone is activated. Telstra Wi Fi. I don't think it's going to have any contacts or anything though. Let me have a look. Contacts. No contacts. But it works. I have now officially, for the next week, swapped back to the iPhone 3GS. Can you still use it in 2019? I'll let you know. Now I've got it all set up, um, Wi-Fi, Telstra, my SIM cards in it. First thing I've noticed, no iMessage, which you know, I can deal with, um, but no emojis. YouTube, Won't connect to YouTube. Weather. Yep, weather app works. Uh, for those interested, iOS 3.1.3. Uh, message just came through, so it's working. We'll give it a go and we'll see what this experience is like. I've got the iPhone 10, that's with me. That's just gonna be my camera for the next week. I've gotta get used to this stupid pin connector that only goes in one way. Uh, it goes that way there, and you've got to be really gentle. There, there we go. This will be fun. Right, good morning. Today is day two of the test of whether I can film, vlog, use the iPhone 3GS today in 2019. Let's talk a little bit about it. So I thought I'd come to this old abandoned silo. It's absolutely unreal. It's phenomenal, this spot. Some good photos. Um, but let's talk about the 3GS very, very quickly. I don't know how this footage is gonna go because I think this maxes out at 480p. So in post-production, it's this size, but to get it to a point where you can actually watch it, I'm going to have to put it to this size, even though the quality is rubbish, because most people are recording in 4K these days. This is me just walking with the 3GS. I'm sure the image stabilisation is absolutely horrible and horrendous. But this is what we used to do 10 years ago, nearly to the day. I think the iPhone 3GS came out uh, June, July 2009, so almost 10 years. Yeah. 
No, I'll be home in about 20 minutes. All right. Okay, see you then. Bye. Put it this way. The iPhone 3GS still works in 2019. But let's talk about if you would want to. Get some of these things out of my bag. GoPro. Oh, that's my Armio snorkel. Might use that later. Right, so let's let's get into depth. So 24 hours with the iPhone 3GS. Here's the things that I loved about it. Simplicity. So texting, phone calls, email. Now because this is using the iOS 3.1.3, no apps can be downloaded. You can't even play YouTube like you saw yesterday. You need a minimum of iOS 9 to be able to use any of the apps on this device. Now obviously the iOS system ran out in iOS 6 point something for the 3. So they no longer have firmware updates and iOS updates for this model. So you can only use it for a basic standard phone. Now a lot of the time that didn't bother me. Uh, 24 hours with it, text messages, uh, I had a phone call come in. That wasn't the big issue. What I found interesting was just how society tells us this unit 10 years ago being the absolute most phenomenal device to now it being useless, pointless. So I found myself wanting to check my social media, Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff. But the only way to check Facebook on this phone is to go to the internet app and log into your Facebook that way and check messages that way. So technology these days, yes, has come forward in the way that you can access things so much quicker. But I found, is that a good thing anymore? I mean, yes, I can access immediate messages and be in contact with people all the time. But I find, I find that an interesting cultural norm now. Back when this was the bee's knees, people could wait. People understood that if you had one of these, good, but if not, you just used your home phone. Now everything is so need it now and must have information on the go. It makes this kind of a humorous bit of technology. And like, if we look at the footage of this thing. So we'll go into the camera, flick it up. I'll start recording. Now I was watching some of this footage back as I was coming back to this beautiful spot here in Hobart. And I actually was quite surprised at how stable the footage was. Now this is a 10 year old bit of technology, yet the image stabilization hasn't actually increased that much. I found the photos. Yeah, no, the photos were rubbish. Let, let me let me show you some photos. I mean, we've become so vain that now we need a phone to have a selfie mode. This doesn't have a front-facing camera. The only way to push the shutter button on the camera is to physically touch the button on the front. We've now become must have a front facing camera, it must be 1080p. You can now take a photo with the push of one of the volume rockers to make sure that you get that perfect shot. Because back then, with this phone, 10 years ago, the only way to take a photo was with that button, and there's no guarantee I was even gonna be in the photo. There's no swipe up gestures, I mean, the list is endless. But this is a 10 year old phone and the battery still lasts a day. Life was simple, but the cultural norm has got to a point where we're told that the best is the current norm. I started out this video saying I'm gonna try this for a week. I quickly found that, to be honest, 24 hours is enough. It's fun. It's a nice thing to probably pop back to every now and then. But I found myself wanting to check Instagram. I found myself 
wondering if I'd got a message on Facebook that I needed to attend to. So let's wrap this up. Am I going to use this for the full week? No. Am I going to put the SIM card back in my iPhone 10 when I get home? Yes. No, actually, I want to get some drone footage, and for that I need data, which means I need to put my SIM card from this back in the phone so I can actually fly my drone. So it's probably not even going to make it back to the house. But it's a lot of fun. But culture has determined and demanded that this is no longer good enough. And in a world when we're just so busy, it's quite a shame.